Hey everyone, it's Unsecure Steve. What we have today in our lock picking series is a 30mm brass springs paddle lock. I'll be using this lock to obtain my Lock Pickers United Yellow Belt. This lock has a 3 8 hardened steel shackle that's resistant to up to 1300 pounds of pry force and a 4 pin brass core that I haven't tried shimming it yet and I don't think I can. If you see that little step up right there, that usually means that you can't shim the top of the core. So, as I said, I'll be using this for my Lock Pickers United Yellow Belt. If you guys haven't checked out the belt ranking system or you don't even know what it is I'll drop a link in the description so you guys can check it out it's a really great way to kind of gauge where your skills are and start to get involved in the community um, I chose this lock because it's readily available I'm from a really small town uh, we only have two supermarkets and like two gas stations and three red lights so getting out and finding a variety of of different locks and stuff is really hard unless I'm ordering them online all the time. So I picked this up at my local Walmart. It was like five bucks and it happened to be on the yellow belt list. So I got lucky there. Um, these locks are usually found on like filing cabinets or I've seen them on toolboxes and it's a it's a fairly common lock because Brinks is a household name in in the United States. So let's go ahead and get ready to pick this. What I'll be using is a 50 thousandths pry bar for top of the keyway tension and a standard hook in 25 thousandths. I'm going to be using a yeah, moderate to heavy tension. These brass locks are, they like heavy tension, at least it seems for me. So let's go right straight to pin one. It's binding up. Ooh, good click on one. Click on two. Click on three, click on four, and we have an open. So, all right, guys, I want to say thank you for joining me on my Yellow Belt Challenge. I hope you guys come back and follow me right through up to my Black Belt. It's going to be quite a journey. Um, I hope you guys stay safe, and I'll catch you guys next time. Thanks.